Grandfather meets Grandson in Action Comics issue 989. Boarding an elevator to the Daily Planet, a mysterious man along with Miss Janet, the woman who sent Clark the journal from Mr. Oz way back when in the New 52's Superman issue 39, head for the reporter pool where they both go their separate ways. The man heads into the bullpen where he begins shooting people, revealing to Lois, Jimmy, Perry and John that he has a bomb strapped to him. In the Fortress of Solitude, Superman still argues with his father Jor-El, who is adamant that mankind doesn't deserve his son. Clark feels a little differently, saying that humans aren't perfect, but he tries to provide them with hope and inspiration so that they will slowly but surely become better people. Jor-El is forced to show Clark all of the disasters he has failed to stop recently. Clark rushes off to help the people as the situations get worse. Back in Metropolis, the man holds the bullpen hostage, saying that the staff are the purveyor of lies and that Mr. Oz showed them what's real. Steve Lombard tries to stop the man, but receives a bullet to the shoulder for his trouble. Lois steps in and says that she will tell the world the man's story, but as long as everyone else gets to leave. The man reluctantly agrees, telling the rest of the people to leave. Across the world, Superman steps in to save some people from a chemical attack while Lois finishes writing the man's story. While he's distracted, Lois tries to contact Kellex to alert Clark. As the man grows impatient, Superman arrives to stop him from detonating his bomb inside the building. Only it's not Superman, it's Jor-El who pushes the man into the sky as the bomb goes off. Down on the street, John slips away from Perry and heads up to the rooftop in his Superboy costume, intending to help his parents. While Superman disarms the speeding chemical missiles, he notes that both sides of the civil war raging around around him are worse than the other. The thought of his father maybe being right flashes through his mind for a second, but Clark won't accept that humanity is beyond saving. Lois Mimo meets her father-in-law for the first time. Jaw says that he can't help but admire what Lois has added to Clark's life just being his partner. Jaw hears his son coming, so he leaves before Clark arrives. He doesn't leave the Davy planet, however, and goes to the rooftop to meet his grandson. Jaw knows John won't trust him, but to prove his identity, he gives John a crystal from the Fortress of Solitude, which shows him his future in hopes he will accompany him back to the fortress. Elsewhere, Janet heads into Oz's hideout, saying that Metropolis will die so that Mr. Oz's chosen ones will live. At the fortress, Jor-El asks John if he likes Earth and having to hide his identity and who he really is. Taking John deeper into the fortress, Jor shows him a better Earth and one where he won't have to hide who he really is. Action Comics issue 989 took the story to a point where I think a lot of us thought it might go with Jor-El trying to coax his grandson into joining him. It's definitely interesting, although I hope it doesn't turn out to be a rehash of the Manchester Black story from the Superman ongoing. Clark's inner wrestle with what his father has told and shown him was fantastic as well, and I love that even though he got the thought that maybe his father was right, he quickly dismissed it because he knows there's always good in people and there's always a way to help them. The callbacks to Oz's first appearance with Miss Janet was also rather interesting since she's kind of his right hand woman it seems. She kind of does all these big important things for him. I'm interested in what she's up to as well since she kind of alludes to destroying Metropolis with some weapon or maybe even teleporting it somewhere or something possibly to that new Krypton-esque world that Jor-El teased John with. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.